In this video, we're learning about lipids, specifically their structure, functions, and tests. So we'll cover the structure and functions of lipids, the differences between saturated and unsaturated fatty acids, and then finally, how to test for lipids. Let's begin by looking at the structure and functions of lipids. If we start with the structure, they're an important group of molecules that all contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. But it's worth noting that they have much less oxygen than carbohydrates do. Most lipids are made up of fatty acids combined with an alcohol. For instance, this triglyceride is a lipid that contains three fatty acid tails linked to the alcohol glycerol. But some lipids have other structures and even have extra elements too. Remember here that lipids aren't long chains of repeated monomers, so they aren't technically polymers. Now, you might hear the terms lipids, fats, and oils being used interchangeably, but there are some key differences to remember. Fats and oils are actually just types of lipid that have different properties because of the fatty acids that they contain. For instance, fats are solids at room temperature, whilst oils are liquids. In living organisms, there are several key functions of lipids that you need to be aware of. First, they're major energy storage molecules, because when they're oxidized, they release a lot of energy that we can then use. They're also vital structural components, especially phospholipids, which are lipids that form the basic structure of our cell membranes. Lipids are great for waterproofing because they're insoluble in water, so they can form water-resistant barriers. They also provide insulation, helping us to retain heat and sometimes act as electrical insulators as well. For instance, the lipid layer around nerve cells helps with nerve impulse transmission. And then finally, lipids provide protection. And this is why our organs are often surrounded by a layer of fat, which acts to cushion them. Next, let's explore the differences between saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. To do this, first we need to know a bit about the structure of a typical fatty acid that you'd find in a lipid. Fatty acids consist of a carboxyl group which is COOH, attached to an R group, which is a hydrocarbon chain, and this can vary in length and structure depending on the fatty acid. So now let's compare these hydrocarbon chains in saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids and see how these differences affect their properties. Saturated fatty acids have hydrocarbon chains that are fully saturated with hydrogen. And this basically means that all the carbon atoms are bonded to the maximum number of hydrogens possible. This also means that there are no carbon-carbon double bonds in the chain, so the chains are straight and they can pack close together. As a result, lipids with saturated fatty acids have high melting points because it's harder to pull these chains apart. And this makes them solids at room temperature. On the other hand, unsaturated fatty acids have hydrocarbon chains that are not fully saturated with hydrogen, and they have at least one carbon-carbon double bond. If there's only one carbon-carbon double bond, it's called a monounsaturated fatty acid. But if there are two or more carbon-carbon double bonds, it's called a polyunsaturated fatty acid. Now importantly, the angle of these carbon-carbon double bonds causes the chains to kink. And this means they can't pack as close together as saturated fatty acids can. So lipids with unsaturated fatty acids have lower melting points, making them liquids at room temperature. Finally, let's learn how to test for lipids in a food sample, which we do using the emulsion test. First, we put two centimeters cubed of our food sample in a test tube, and then add two centimeters cubed of ethanol. We add this ethanol, which is a clear alcohol, because lipids are soluble in it. Next, we give it a good shake to dissolve any lipids present, and then add two centimeters cubed of distilled water. And we add the water because lipids are insoluble in it. If lipids are present, we'll see a milky white emulsion form. And so this would be our positive result. This happens because lipids are insoluble in water, so the lipid ethanol solution separates from it and forms tiny droplets that scatter light suspended in the water, creating that milky appearance. If no lipids are present, 
The solution will stay clear though, and the emulsion won't form, so this would be our negative result. If you haven't heard yet, you can find all of our videos on our website, cognito.org. You'll also find questions, flashcards, exam style questions, and past papers. And we track all of your progress so that you always know what to study next. So sign up for free by clicking here or browse our playlist here on YouTube.